Only seven times since 2015 have we seen a move like this. Bitcoin right now approaching $64,000. You see this red line right here, the 200-day moving average. You want to zoom in? Let's zoom in. Let's zoom all the way in on this green daily candle. We are going to dig into this because what's happening right now could be incredibly massive for the parabolic bull cycle. So hit the subscribe, hit the like on the way in. Let's jump into the video. Let's, let's zoom out. We are going to absolutely discuss that move seven times, only seven times since 2015 have we seen something like this happen. And I'm going to explain exactly what I mean by that. But there is a warning and I'm going to zoom right out on the chart. This is a daily chart. I have a couple of warning bells on the screen that give us some context into what to be careful for right now. But let's start. Let's start on the weekly chart. I, I want to make a note of something because this is very important as we start digging into the zoomed in price action of Bitcoin. And I really wanted to do a, a video tonight, Sunday night, going into this new week, because I don't know what's going to happen overnight. I don't know how this daily candle is going to play out overnight, but we are at insane critical area. So on the weekly chart, though, that we, we want to just visit something very quickly. It's this 200 day moving average. Just keep this in mind as we're digging into these charts. We have this new weekly candle opening above that green line, the 200 week moving average. So this is a massive move that just happened on the weekly Bitcoin closing a weekly candle above the 200 week. And why is it a massive move? Because if you go in to the last cycle, for instance, when Bitcoin was kind of falling into the bear market, right? We had this swing high, all time high. Bitcoin started falling into the bear market. This is that macro indicator we watch for. It's bear markets at the 20 week moving average, a green line. Bear markets are lower highs under that area. So we just want to see absolutely Bitcoin get above that green area. So good to see that that has happened. And just to give you an idea, this is two cycles ago. Here's Bitcoin at the 200 week, right? Lower highs down into the bear market. So this was a big macro indicator, but what's, what's happening on the daily is becoming very intriguing. The other thing before we go to that daily short-term price action on Bitcoin to keep in mind, please keep in mind where we are in the cycle, meaning we're not right here, right? Kind of in the middle of a bear market between the two Bitcoin halvings, these yellow lines. We are just post Bitcoin halving, that yellow line. Here this purple line is, that's kind of a, an area that we use to just show historically when altcoin season begins. So we're not even there yet, right? So we know at what part of the cycle we are from, from kind of this data perspective in previous cycles. Now, let's dive into this daily chart. Here's the daily Notice, actually, as I'm even doing the video, Bitcoin is not above the 200-day moving average. We have some things to update right now, and then we're going to look at the seven times uh, Bitcoin has been here before. So the 200-day, you can see, I just want to move that up just a little. I want to move this up, the 20-day in green. Check this out from the last video. We just have a new daily candle opening not long ago. So we are getting very close to seeing the 20-day moving average cross above the 50-day moving average. Very bullish signal for Bitcoin. And I want to also, I want to interject real quick. I meant to talk about this post. The best time to buy Bitcoin is at the bottom. The second best time to buy is at the post having reaccumulation. So this is a, a different visualization of where we are in the cycle. And this is a very important thing to look at as now we do dive into the Bitcoin daily chart and the, and the previous times we've been here. So it's the 200 day moving average paired with this, the 20 day crossing above the 50, that green line above the 50. So it's Bitcoin breaking the 200 while we're getting this move down here, the 20 above the 50. Only seven times since 2015 has this happened. So let's, let's look at this because this is going to give us a lot of hints into where we could potentially be going next. Here's the last time it happened. If you just go to a chart, zoomed out, the last time you can see was back here in October, and we have, and by the way, that October on the weekly, all these indicators from this October move lining up in such similarity to where we are right now, but the 20 crossing the 50 and then breaking above the 200, this led to a hundred, like almost 170% increase for Bitcoin price from that area. And if we zoom out more before that move happened right here, exiting the bear market is the, is the previous time that we had this move happen. And if we zoom in, this is what it looks like. Again, these are the indicators we're watching. It's the 20 above the 50 while Bitcoin's breaking above that red line, the 200. When these moments come together 
Often after months of waiting, these are very big moments, very big indicators that I really enjoy seeing. You can see 62% move or so to the upside from that 200, but let's face it. If we zoom out, this was the, this was leading into the longer term move and and potentially this entire bull market, right? So this could be the trigger out of the bottom and currently we've seen actually like 270 some percent gains. We're going to get to these bells as a warning in in just a moment, but let's let's look at this. Here's the last time before that. This was the the next swing high of the last bull market. You see the 20 crossing above 50. And then here's Bitcoin breaking the 200, led to 50% gains or so. And then here's last cycle. Same thing, everybody. We're seeing very similar indicators. You get the point. That led to 700% gains to all-time or to that first all-time high, swing high. And then here's our second bell we're going to look at in a minute. And then this one back in 2019, the 20 above the 50 through the 200, led to two, or almost 200%. And then lastly, I, do, I just want to go back. Look how long it took before Bitcoin did this before. And this was all the way back here in 2015, leading to almost 8,000% gains. That was a different time. We are, we're not in that time right now, I would say, but you just look at that chart and look at the separation above that 200-day moving average for all of that time. It took until 2019 before Bitcoin made a similar move. Now, you can see the move is playing out right now. And what I want to just... I want to remember is the fact that Bitcoin is just after post Bitcoin having. There are so many things coming together in terms of the, the crypto markets right now that we've been talking about, not only from technical analysis perspective, and I'm not going to get all into all of it right now. It's all I've been talking about, rehashing the same exact things, macroeconomic data in terms of recession talk, in terms of rate hikes, and, and how long after these moments markets bottom or markets continue higher, right? We are in a really nice time frame for, for all of these things. And we have this indicator going off. And that is to say the 20 getting ready to cross the 50 and we are at the 200. Here's the warning. If you notice the 20 hasn't crossed the 50 and we haven't broken above the 200, but we're there. And this is why I wanted to do this video tonight because I don't know, there, there's going to probably be rejection at the 200 tonight into tomorrow on this daily candle, or Bitcoin's going to start breaking above that area. And, and maybe if we close above this 200-day moving average tomorrow and we close a nice candle, this 20-day this in green, I think the next move could be above the 50. So we could have kind of this signal going off. And if that's the case, we know what has happened previous times. So that's very much in play. But here's the warning. Let's go back to this moment. This was April 2022. And if we just look at this, I put I, on the weekly chart, I put the bell there. But notice, this is the first thing I want to notice. This was, historically speaking, at pretty much the middle of, of a bear market, really, right? This was between the two halvings. This was after the parabolic bull run. If you open up an RSI, you can see Bitcoin has already had its post halving overbought parabolic run. Look at the RSI post Bitcoin having this time. Nothing. We've reset for that moment. That's the first thing I just want to look at, but notice the warning, right? There's that 20-week moving average. It's failing. The 20-week falls below the 50-week, that green below the blue, and you go back to this chart, and it was rejection at that 200-day moving average. We're at the 200-day moving average right now. I can't help but just be very cautious. We want to watch. If there's rejections, there's rejection. And we have to just be aware that it's possible, right? There's no guarantees we're getting the parabolic bull run. There's no guarantees history is going to kind of, in terms of the Bitcoin cycles, that history is going to repeat. So if you look at this, next bell, the last one I want to visit, you can see this was October 2019. You see that Bitcoin broke above the 200. But notice this. If you go to the weekly chart and we go back to that moment, look at the rejection at the 20 week moving average. And by the way, I should say this this is a bell, it's a warning, there was rejection, but it wasn't that much longer until still it went parabolic. Because 
Notice where we were when, with the cycles, approaching Bitcoin halving. It's not like we were in the middle of a bear market, right? But there was rejection at that 20 week. We go to the 20 week right now. This is why this is a very good signal to see Bitcoin above the 20 week. It's above the 20 week. What we really want to see now is separation from the 20 week. It would be awesome to have a powerful week for Bitcoin and crypto markets this week. You can just see we, we always want to see separation, right? So we're above the 20 week. That's fine. We obviously want to close above it right now. What that means is around $62,800 or so. But we want to close with, with a good separation above it, right? Like, and, and, and only this week will tell us where we end up. But going back to the daily zoomed in, we know our targets. We know what we're watching. So check this out. Right now, this upper trend line, not far from where Bitcoin is, just below $68,000. Right now, Bitcoin's approaching sixty four. Right, so this move for Bitcoin is six to seven percent away. This is a move that could happen within a day, and the the only hurdle in the way right now is that two hundred day moving average. So really, it's all about tonight for me. I'm so curious to what we're gonna wake up to tomorrow morning, especially because Bitcoin, as I do the video right now, is there. And as you see, this isn't something that happens all of the time. This setup. This, re this resistance at the 200-day moving average is not something that Bitcoin contends with all of the time. So realize there are people watching this right now. There are people freaked out by it. There are people that are just like convinced it's going to be rejected and we're going down. The markets will react to this. Bears will be rooting for rejection. Bulls will be rooting for a breakthrough through the 200. But just look, the last time we got a move like this was all the way back here in October. So that's around a year ago, everybody. And now here we are once again. This is a really pivotal moment for Bitcoin and crypto markets in general, considering all of the things that are going on right now in these markets and all of the speculation, bulls and bears uh, alike. So these are my thoughts going into this new week. This is what I'm watching. Really cool things happening, though. Otherwise, you know, the, these indicators coming together like this, it makes it exciting to track these markets. Please. My thing is this. As I sit here, I'm tracking my crypto journey. I just, I'm just anticipating everything. I'm, I'm being careful. I'm very bullish on the macro, you all know, but just being careful at the same time. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below, everybody. Please hit the subscribe, hit the like, turn notifications on, and I hope you have a good start to your week. I'll see you in the next video. God bless.